Cool. Erica So is live in Sacramento. We're actually going to all try them, right, Erica? Oh. Yeah, so you've heard of watermelons, we've heard of honeydew and cantaloupe, but have you ever seen an Armenian melon? No, There's no. two different kinds, and to tell us about them is Rick from the Cordy Brothers. Good morning. So, good morning, Rick. How are you? I'm doing well, thank thanks, you. Thanks for coming. Um, who grows the most variety of melons in the world? Where would you think? No idea. It has I, me beat. Okay, a lot of people would think California, Uzbekistan. Oh. These are melons from Southeast Asia grown by Ruben McCurchion, a good friend of ours. Oh. Um, we've had these for a couple of years. Sacramento has a lot of talent. Eric Hansen's an internationally known travel writer, and he wrote this article in Aramco World magazine, which is circulated around the world. It's an amazing story about these melons. Eric came and had one of the Mirza King of Melons, ate it in one sitting, and then went on a quest to find Iban Batuta's melons. Iban was a traveler from Morocco in the year 1333. He wrote about these melons that were the sweetest he ever tasted. Give, give uh, King of Melon a taste. All right, so the anchors, you guys have yeah. a little sample over at the studio. Uh, so okay. I'm gonna let you guys take a we're taste noticing while I try this one. This light, one is the Mirza. Mirza. Wow, it does taste just like a honeydew. In, in, mm -hmm. in a sense, it does. Very now flavorful. try the Opinavat, which is called Father of Sweet or Special Sweet. It's amazingly Ooh, fragrant. that one's really Isn't sweet. Un very, very unique. These have become very popular. Um, Ruben uh, grows these in Kern County um, in the high desert. He tested 28 of the 160 varieties. These two fared the best. Cordy Brothers is the only mm -hmm. source outside of the LA basin to have these melons. In Uzbekistan, they grow 500,000 tons a year of melons in Central Asia. And <laughs> In the greater Sacramento area, this is the this only is place the you can get it. the only them. place they become very popular. After these, these melons last a long time. Um, when they start to get soft, they'll last for months. They braid them, they dry them and Whoa, braid them. Oh, and cool. in historical record, they are known as the best dried fruit in the world. Stop so, if people want to get this, where can they come to? Get they them? can come to Cordy Brothers and get the melons now. We'll have them through October. Later in the year, they will dry and braid these, and we'll probably have them maybe November, December. Perfect, ah. thank you. So, I'm going to finish off these melons and I'll throw it back to you guys. Erica, thank you for bringing them to the studio too, yeah, so we could taste bit with you. Snack. Love these. I, Very I like tasty, them better than right? the traditional ones we're used sweet to. So sweet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mouthful. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're gonna finish. We're gonna wrap up our 9 a.m. topic coming up right after break. Stay with us.